Are you currently studying for the Power BI Exam DA100? Well, I would highly suggest that you stick around and check out this video because I'm going to break down the main topics covered, dig into some of the trickier topics, and also give you some advice on how you should allocate your study time. So after a quick Google search, I was able to pull up the exam DA100 webpage. So we're currently, as of May 12th, when I'm recording this, still in beta. And one thing to note here is that I was on the R Power BI subreddit, and apparently the beta exams might be curved up a little bit, because what's happening right now is they're trying to weed out questions that are ambiguous or not very clear. So if you miss one of those questions, um, it may get dropped from the exam and your score may come up a little bit. So that could be seen as a little bit of an incentive to you know, get things together and take this exam sooner rather than later. So scrolling down, let's talk through these skills that are measured. So we have prepare, model, visualize, and analyze the data. And this is mainly focusing on Power BI Desktop. So you can see the last point, deploy and maintain deliverables. It only accounts for 10 to 15% of the exam, and that is focusing on Power BI's service environment, or you know, uploading and sharing um, data and dashboards within Power BI service. So I would say the most important skill measured is this 30% of the exam, or up to 30%, is model the data. So if I were prioritizing what is the most important, I would say focus heavily on model the data, then look at prepare the data and visualize the data is a tie, then analyzing data, not as important, and I would say the least important is deploy and maintain deliverables. Now, let me add this caveat, they're all important, but I'm just wanting to advise you on how you should allocate your study time. Focus heavily on modeling the data. So next what we can do is actually download the exam skills outline. So these five main topics break down into even more detailed subtopics. So let's check this out. So we have prepare the data, and that breaks down into get data from different data sources, profile the data, and clean, transform, and load the data. I would say the toughest topic within prepare the data is going to be leverage advanced editor to modify your Power Query M code. Now, I may be a little bit biased in that recommendation in that in my consulting agency, I pretty much delegate and outsource all of my coding work to my data scientists. So I'm not day in and day out analyzing data and with code and I'm not creating queries. So maybe I'm a little bit um, overly worried about that. But make sure that you know how to do at least some basic editing within MCode. Next. Let's talk about modeling the data, and just a reminder, this is the most important, up to 30% of the exam. This breaks down into designing a model, develop a model, create measures using DAX, and optimize a model for performance. So what I wanted to kind of reinforce and focus on here is that DAX has its own subsection. So that means that this is a very, very important topic. And getting a little bit deeper into DAX, so you need to know how to build complex measures in DAX. Specifically, you need to know the calculate function. So I would practice, practice, practice the calculate function. And you're going to want to know how to use that to manipulate filters. Also, time intelligence is directly mentioned on there. So make sure that you get some reps in and some practice with that type of DAX coding. And I think that pretty much covers, so yeah, these other topics don't seem as intimidating to me, design a data model, develop a data model, and optimize a model for performance. So let's move on to the next section, which is visualize the data. And you know, I mentioned earlier that I'm not the greatest coder. I am very much a data visualization expert though. That is what I do and I have done for years, day in and day out. So here we're going to want to know how to create reports, create dashboards, enrich these reports for usability. So the hardest thing within this section is know how to add an R or Python visual. So that is probably the trickiest topic within this main 
topic here. So moving on to analyze the data. So this is essentially you're going to be enriching your data visualizations that you have, you know, been quizzed on in the previous section. So, you know, you might have to identify outliers, conduct time series analysis. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, perform top in analysis. So if you had a data set where a specific field had, you know, 150 different unique values there, you probably don't want to pull that into a bar chart where each unique value has a bar. So what you can do here is actually use the top in filter to pull in only the top performing data points, maybe from you know, the top cells or the highest cost. And that way that you can start to actually build visualizations that provide insights. Because if you have a bar chart with 150 different bars, it's not really useful at that point. So next, let's talk about deploy and maintain deliverables. So there are two main things you need to know here. So how to manage data sets and how to create and manage workspaces. So now we've covered, you know, not in super detail, but we've covered all of the main five topics and then also the um, subtopics within those. And I do want to reinforce or reinstate that this is heavily skewed towards Power BI desktop. So practice building visuals, especially building out those data models. Make sure that you practice that over and over again. And then also, I mean, you do want to touch on Power BI service, but it's not nearly as important in terms of getting a high enough score to clear the exam. Thanks for checking out the video. I hope you found my advice helpful. And if you want more content related to analytics and how to grow your analytics career, I would strongly suggest that you subscribe to the channel. And you can even ring the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new video. We typically post three videos a week, including a long form podcast episode, and two deep dives into specific topics related to growing your analytics career. I'll see you next time.